Tobias, we're here at your open house. Now, um, the, the theme of this video is to talk about automation. We've got loads of content coming out across our channel, but we're really standing in the heart of, of your automation here, aren't we? Um, how important is automation to Grob and to your customers? It's absolutely important, as majorly our customer knowing us since many decades uh, out of the automotive industry, uh, but the trend, as you can see, all the people which are around here at our open house, um, are totally changing. So the approach that we, we have machines, single machines, maybe twin or two spindle machines um, aligned uh, together, which having an automation solution. Because we all know that our customers would like to have maybe an operator on shift during the day, but the machine needs to be busy overnight as well. Okay, now we've got four cells here we're going to talk about. 80%, you were telling me, of your machine installations now come equipped with automation. So that's the majority for, for all us mathematicians. Absolutely, it totally changed even over the last two, three years. Two, three years ago, it was maybe 50% they were, the customer were asking us to equip our machines at least with an automation interface. But nowadays, more than 80% will be equipped with an interface and even with automation. Uh, this place is massive. I've got to say this to the camera, it's absolutely huge. You have about three and a half thousand employees working here. Uh, you know, dozens of machines going through in work in progress at any one time. Um, and of course, now with automation being at the heart of it, these are some of them. So let's have a, a chat about this one here, Tobias. Exactly. What are we seeing that's different and what's good about this cell? Here we're seeing a robot that is allocated in front of the machine, where the major purpose is that during the day, the operator is on duty, makes maybe some small batch sizes, maybe some test runs where an operator needs to be on site. But overnight, nobody wants to let the machine sit and sleep. So that's where the robot comes in place. We have a space box, that's a box with several layers. And on the layers, you just drop very easily, not in a very specific format. You only drop the raw materials there. Um, the robot itself can visualize where those pieces are, pick them up, and load and unload overnight when the operator is not on site. And it doesn't matter where he puts those parts, he's not nope. got to put them in a specific area, so any nope. operator error is overcome by this automation, isn't it? Exactly. As long as two work pieces not touching each other, that the gripper can go in between, everything is fine. Okay, then behind you, yep. this is unbelievable. I mean, you're feeding this machine with fixtures, parts, the whole shooting Pallets. match. Pallets. Yep. Yep. So that's, that's the major uh, point that we always got asked for because sometimes you, you design a, a automation solution for only a pallet handling or only a workpiece handling and majorly the customer if, if the has arrived the customer then it comes up I would like to have this or the other workpiece or handling so what we have done on the cell behind myself we can handle all of this so we can handle the pallets we can handle pallets with vices and we can handle also work pieces, loading and unloading the pallet itself and shift the pallet with the workpiece into the machine. And we, what we can't forget here is the machines as well, because sure. all of these are five axis machines. Specifically, we've got a machine that's there doing uh, medical parts or, or, dedica or, or really good for the medical sector. Can you describe what's happening there? I exactly, one machine further. It's a very small robot cell, a GRC R12. So means uh, with a robot up to 12 kilograms, and that was majorly designed for the medical industry, as you said correctly. Um, here we're machining mostly bone plates, knee implants, tweezer, uh, different surgery tools that, that you need while you're doing a surgery, obviously. And, and this is also dedicated for machining titanium um, and, and lots of stainless steel materials. And that's the interesting point here because it's, it's not just the automation, it's the machine too. There's many challenges doing those materials over long periods of time. How do you, how, how do you overcome some of those challenges like tool wear, tool breakages, surface finish here, all of those things. Exactly, so, so we combine in the robot cell also, for example, a deburring process, a polishing process, even a marking process, specifically in the medical industry or the aerospace industry, you need to document all of your steps, you need to document the raw material, the finished parts. You, you really need to have, a, let's say, a file of every workpiece that if in two, three years something goes wrong, you need to know on which machine, uh, which, which kind of workpiece was machined and so on. So this is everything we could, can collect together. Okay, now the last machine in this area with yep. automation, because there's plenty more machines around with automation, yep. um, you've got like a pallet system, a pallet pool si area, haven't you? Yep. Uh, feeding a G150, I believe. Yes. That to me is a, is a machine or a cell that would be perfect for, for a company that doesn't really know what they're doing from day to day, a subcontractor maybe, in all of the industries that you've mentioned. Exactly, and the very specific unique point on those one is the P, uh, PSST 300, so the Tower 300, um, where we can load up to uh, 80 pallets 
and you can dedicate two machines um, getting being feeded in and out uh, with this kind of automation cell. Exactly. Uh, why should people come to Grob for their automation, Tobias? <laughs> yeah. If they can't make it here this week, why, why should they be talking to you guys? I mean, um, beside of those which we have just introduced, we have even further pellet pool system, linear pellet pool systems. Um, up to uh, the, the biggest one at the moment is can lift up to 2.7 tons. So not only the very small pieces, up to the very big pieces. Is that the horizontal can, machining center we saw at the end there? Because that's, that's, that's something I'd not it's seen our before. It's four-axis machines, obviously, and the G750 machine, um, which which can be allocated and uh, dropped and built in into this uh, PSSL um, 2700. Right. Okay. Well remembered. I yep. finally just want you to um, to reiterate to our audience that anybody that believes that Grob is either out of their reach or not for their sector or their market couldn't be further from the truth in the last decade. This business has changed tremendously. Absolutely, specifically with our centers of excellence, dedicated teams, which are only focusing in the aerospace, in the mold and dye, in the energy segment, in the medical industry, specifically a big team of more than 20 people which just looking after automation solution. So, so we, we really um, equipped and, and prepared ourselves for the wide range of any machining situation on the market. Even milling and turning, mill turn machines we're also offering, also with automation cells.